This time we're going to look at this plasmoid called Icon Test. Basically it's kind of like the Unity launcher but for KDE here. And in some ways it's actually better than you know the Unity launcher 3D. So make sure you install it and then we're going to add it here. So add a new panel, an empty one. And we're going to move this to the left side. And then we're going to resize it. So resize this portion to align with there and then a little bit bigger. So that's going to be where we're going to put the widget. So right click on here and add the widget. Um, just filter out icon. And there you go. This is the one. Drag and drop this in here. Seems like nothing happens, but the magic already happens. All right. Uh, so now all you got to do is open some applications. So we have three applications, right? And by default, they use um, what's it called? The KWin highlight window feature. So when you hover over it, uh, all the other applications is transparent except for the one that you hover over through, right? So if you like that feature, you, you know you keep it on. But I personally don't like it, so I'll show you how to disable it here. Go to system settings and then go to effects all effects and then we're going to go to highlight window apply that and now when you hover over this you don't have that one okay they do have this clickable thumbnail if you don't like that either you can actually um, I think it's somewhere down here where is it <clears throat> okay right here if you don't like that you can go uncheck that and apply it and now you have you know nothing but I actually do like that and I'll tell you that in a minute but apply it again and now you have the clickable thumbnail right? Um, other stuff you can do in here is let's right click on here and you have the settings for this plasmoid so in the settings here they have different styles or themes I guess so the default is your current theme uh, other ones you have the indicators so apply that and now this one they had little triangle stuff here so you click on here the triangle moves right so that's how that works uh, the last one looks more like unity because it has um, the background colors so right now you have the fruity colors right so that's that <coughs> now as far as this tool tips here so when you hover over an application they have the tool tips and uh, if you want to disable that you can go do not show and then apply it and now when you hover it, it does not show okay this checkbox here this is basically if you have uh, different themes uh, for your applications the icons they can actually use it otherwise you don't need to check the box or anything all these other stuff not necessary uh, as far as the behavior you can actually change some of the stuff. So by default, it's, it behaves just exactly like uh, you know how Unity would uh, be like. So let's say, for example, we have our dolphin here, and uh, by default, it's actually better because you can actually minimize it. So you click on the icon again, it minimizes, and open, minimize. Now, if you have only one of uh, you know application instance of that then it will do the minimize. Now if you want to middle click on it to open another instance and now we have two dolphin do it again middle click and then you have three uh, so now when you click on it they call this a group click so you click on it again now you have um, what was this called in the comp is the scale feature in comp is but in KD they use KWIN so this one is called present windows right and then you select your window or you do this and then middle click and it's gone right that's it for that um, and you can change that around you don't have to say middle click to open a new instance you can say do nothing or some other options they have here and the present windows you can actually change it to you know minimize or whatever it is you want now down here in the filters this is basically uh, let me give you an example If you switch over to this workspace or activities or whatever it is uh, that you're using on KDE, 
you see that the icons does not exist because it only shows up in uh, the current workspace or activities then uh, if you want to show it on all then you can go back in here and let's go to our settings and uncheck these okay let me see uncheck uncheck apply and now when you go over here you have all your icons again right uh, and then when you click on it it will switch to that workspace so if I click on this calculator it gives me back to that workspace <clears throat> let's move on to the next thing the dock manager I don't really recommend this because if you're on KDE you're probably not going to use any you know GTK no maps but they do have this one uh, for the plugins if you do use some of those um, and these plugins comes from the docky dock I believe so like I said I don't really recommend it since you know you're using KDE stuff uh, the next one here is the matching rules <coughs> And what these is is basically if some programs, uh, you know, it's not detected by this plasmoid. Like for example, they have you know LibreOffice here. I think LibreOffice is just one program, and the only difference is, um, I guess, the the launcher name or the Windows class or whatever. Um, and that's how you would resolve it if there is an issue. But uh, haven't run into those. But these are the default. And they have shortcuts and then some other stuff not really necessary. So that's what they got there in the settings. Now, how would you pin an application? They actually use this uh, built in feature into KWIN. So, for example, we have our calculator here. Uh, just right click on the icon and you have uh, show a launcher when not running, uh, which I talked about last time. And it looks a little bit different when you're using the taskbar, but now we're using this like icon base right so let's do that and then it pins it so even if I close this thing you still have the icon right and that's your launcher now so that's how that one works uh, let's go on to oh yeah they do have sometimes they have it not always if you right click on it they probably have like a what do you call it jump list or a quick list same deal I mean some of them have it but this one doesn't have it I guess don't really have a good example for that but some application you can right click on it and you have like extra options that you can do uh, other stuff is for example with Amarok let me see here you can actually um, oh let me enable it again the tool tips Uh, if you hover it, you have these, um, I guess, controls you can do. You can play it, right, or next or back. I don't really have any other songs, but you can pause it. So that's what you can do with Amrock. I think they have that in, in um, Unity also. Okay. So that's another thing you can do. And I personally like the, the little um, thumbnail, you know, when you hover over it, because it's actually easier than doing this you know this thing you just pop it out just hover over it and it will pop it out and you check the one that you want if it's already open it will minimize otherwise it was not so you see that one's a little bit quicker but not really by that much anyways I like that one um, other stuff let's say for example let's, let's try to use this like unity okay so let's say we open reconk or something and you know uh, they do have the arrow snap stuff by default so you can go maximize right um, you can drag this corner it's actually much more smoother than the actual comp is one it's not as buggy uh, as that one but you can do all that stuff and what else is there oh yeah if you wanted to go for example you want this to auto hide you can actually right click on here I think oh no just go down here little cashew here you go more settings and then you say auto high they actually have some other ones but auto high let's do that and there you go auto highs and now when you hover over this it comes back out so if you like it like that you can do that <clears throat> I think that's about it for this plugin I mean this uh, plasmoid 
if you don't like this one, there's actually another one that's very similar to this. It's called Smooth Task. So check out my video on that if you want to use that too. But um, like I said, in many ways, it's, it's a little bit better because you can actually customize it to your liking. But you know, up to you if you want to try it. Uh, just install it. I'll give you in the description how to do that, and uh, that'll be it for this one. All right.